Thank you for joining me on AnimalCrackersMonthly.com. I want to turn. I look up. Watch it. Look to the right. They're going to tell you. This to me is two happy, relaxed dogs. Very content. You've done really well. You've done really well. Um, because that's a manageable. That's still a lot of work, but it's more manageable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My mom's face all. <laughs> <laughs> So. Now, as a as a parent, Kathy, what is the commitment for you? Let's talk about the commitment. <laughs> Hi there, I'm Krista Lynn. You, the stories, the real stories, the real people and real pets. We go right into people's backyards and find out that they have amazing stories, amazing things that they've done with their animals, or that their animals have done for them. And that's what people want to hear if they want to hear about what they're doing, you know, not what somebody somewhere else is doing, what's happening right now, right there with them. Yeah. And this also allows people to see that these stories are everywhere. Hi, how are you? But when I was five years old, I decided what I wanted most in this world was a snake. And my dad made me this deal that if I saved up enough money for the snake, he'd buy the cage. I still have that snake because I did it. Yes. And I mean, it's clean, spotless. I mean, I would even hear. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I have never seen somebody do such an amazing job oh, with yeah. their cat or even Kelly. Well, I mean, he taught me one time that softness comes from within the rider's heart. Right. And if your heart is not at peace, if you are not at peace within yourself, you cannot have true softness, true right. feel of your horse. Your horse will not yield. And, and this is what's so exciting because the things that I'm going to share with you have a lot to do with being able to ride the inside of the horse. Bring that circle in, bring the energy in, and then bring it out. Just by taking a few of these breaths, can you see how much you were holding your breath? My hips are starting to, to work. I'm over When her foot is leaving the ground, when it's in the air, so it's in the air right now. Going back to school at 44 years old to learn and hone in my writing skills. I am um, working on a degree right now in creative writing and video production, and I have been wanting to do this for seven years. adjustments on that shoe. I'm still going to make one more. What are you looking for when you're making adjustments? You don't mind me asking, how old are you? I'm 85. You write a song? I've never yeah, written a song. Okay. Is this what people do? Yeah. Yeah? So come on world, we got something to say. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever seen mobile dog grooming in action, but it's a really fun career. And actually, if you guys are animal lovers, I'm just going to tell you guys this. If you're animal lovers and you want to know more about a career in mobile dog grooming, I am producing the Robin Lee instructional video. I'm getting ready to use my 50 to 1 dilution of maximum impact. And this is by Easy Groom. Um, it's more of an my dog grooming videos to show what happens to mobile dog groomers out on the side of the road. <laughs>
together. Perfect. Just like I did it very straight on the other on the other video, I can take this and just point cut this. I'm gonna say I think that this is an example that when you have a good uh, feel with the dog, that two people can work on a dog together. And I was uh, boarding dogs at the time, and they were looking for a home for him. Oh. I had several dogs and was not interested. In it. You'll love it. So once you see it, you can get inspired. Um, Wolfie, in the in the video, helps the boys find the black feather, which allows them to see the Lucenu Indians that once Native Americans that once dwelt in that village in the property in the front of the ranch. So it's based okay. on a true story, but it's kind of like a, you know, Wolfie saves the ranch kind of thing. And I'm liking that. They don't, the kids don't know it. They follow him and they find this black feather. Well, when they pick the black feather up, they, um, they can instantly see into the Indian village as it was. Here is our blessing for you. Ooh, very good. Okay. Right now, we've covered the canine support teams, taking us through the amazing journey of the service dog. This medical breakthrough could read a seizure, potentially 20 minutes before it happened, allowing a person to put themselves in a safe position before the seizure takes over their body. Family members live in this prison as well. And then she began to not be able to breathe. And I just keep sitting there thinking, is she going to come back this time or not? And you know, the dog is as much for me. Yeah. Because I've been doing the dog's dog. I have been the dog for <laughs> You've been the years. service dog. Yes, and now Star is helping me to do that. Wow. How did you hear about this, or is this something you considered? Um, the only way that the way that we found out about it was through our finally through our neurologist. Oh my gosh! Oh man! Oh jeez! That's God. That right there is God. Again. As I grew into an adult, Whiskit grew with me. She helped me raise my kids, and her hoof prints could be traced over hundreds of miles over the valley. Long rides and good friends, Whiskit was my confidant. She gave me the confidence to continue my dream, working with horses and teaching others. About the Salt River wild horses, telling about their whole life, and the battle that they have to fight and what we can do to help them. As a child, I can remember gazing in awe of the horse. No one had to tell me that he was majestic. I knew intuitively that he represented something magnificent. Or this is one of the last few ranches around that provides good horsemanship and uh, look at the environment. I mean, everyone, you can just sense it here. I had an opportunity to buy a piece of property, a 12-acre piece of property, and, and I'm a horsey girl. You can see I'm out here in my barn. I love animals. I'm able to work with horses in a very unique way because I can read their body language. I can feel what they're feeling. And when I walked onto this property, it was barren. Um, trash was everywhere, had been left over from the previous owners. It had been barren for like seven years. I was drawn to this property. I used to ride my horse by it for years and years, and I just could feel that I was going to be there someday. And I was, and I still am. And when I walked on the property, Everybody around me that came with me said, oh my gosh, this is so much work. Do you realize what you're in for? 
and I got a lot of negativity, but I saw the kids riding. I saw the horses. I saw the events. I saw the healing that would be done through these animals to children everywhere in my community. And I had that vision. I couldn't even sleep at night waiting for the escrow to go through, dreaming, laying there dreaming about this happening, visualizing it as if it was happening. And do you know that that vision came true over 10 years? Every single dream I had for that, for this property came through. So um, it's an amazing gift. But what I've learned is that you have to open your hands, open your heart, and let things go through. It's not up to us to who benefits from the, the incredible gifts that God gives us. Understanding the, uh, the characteristics that you have, that you, were, that you were born with, is so important. And understanding how to keep an open heart and a free heart and to trust those things into the universe that it's not our job to really receive back from them it's our job to continue to be an open vessel and so it's something i'm still working on i'm just here to talk for myself that i am able to know what's going on i have a knowing um, and I'm learning to use that. I'm learning to use that spiritual side. And that's what I want to share with you guys. Because we were all willing to look at ourselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like and a horse. Like a lot of people be like, oh, the horse is acting up. And right. I'm uh -huh. like, well, you too. It's the horse right. and riders. They're so feeding yes, off your combination. After the bees happened, I was like, I was fighting so hard to keep it. Yeah. And I was just trying everything. Mm. And then when the bees happened, I'm like, I can't do it anymore. Right. Like, I get this phone call. Jeez, right? And they were like, you know, you need to get here right away. So, I mean, I had no idea what I was walking into. Right. Who do you call? What are you right. talking about? Yeah. What are we, you know, dealing with here? So I called the fire department. Okay. So we're prepared for what sure. actually yeah. we saw that day. Yeah. Mom, from the time I was like first grade when I got the horses till I was 16. Yeah. We yeah. were out here every single day together, know. you know? Uh -huh. yeah. Spending from the time I got out of school till I went home, like, yeah. we're always together. Uh huh. Like, Don't you think that's incredible? Yeah, it's like, when I look back when I'm older and stuff, like, I can't wait to look back and. Because a lot of kids don't spend that too much time with their parents or they're mean to their parents or like, you know, they're just typical teenagers or whatever. But like, I can look back and be like, no, I spent so much time with my mom, you know. Right. Yeah. She freaking spoiled me rotten out here. <laughs> I love it. It's perfect. Okay, what are the words? <laughs> Let's write the words. We're writing another song, Cliff. Woohoo! And now, a new opportunity. Full Sail University opened up to me. It opened my mind and life to the possibilities ahead of me. Somehow I got in and am now continuing my amazing quest to tell my story. Your creativity is flowing again. The pain of events has now given me the dark borders to write with. The empathy to understand man's lot in life. Horseshoe turned motorcycle man turned out to be my knight in shining armor. He's become my partner in life. We come back to the ranch with a new story of our own. Now the challenge.